Hello, Just Too Good here, and LEGO Certified Stores for Australia and New Zealand has revealed the new LEGO Donkey Kong set, finally. This is the $60 Donkey Kong Treehouse, a LEGO Super Mario August first release for $60 in the United States with 554 pieces and two characters, LEGO Donkey Kong and LEGO Cranky Kong. Seems like instead of getting a new electronic figure set, we'll be getting this set at $60 in August, with those two figures being simple brick builds. First off, I'm digging the new bunch of bananas, which is a really nice LEGO piece, even if it's just fit for the big fig hands of Donkey Kong and the LEGO minifigure. Not sure if it's just one in this set or two, there also seems to be a stud at the bottom as it seemingly has a tile attached. Second, I love this new LEGO treetop piece, which you get in green for the trees and in tan for the top of the roof of the house. As for the main build though, seems like LEGO is going with the new modern design for Donkey Kong's treehouse. I mean, I shouldn't even say new because it's from Donkey Kong Country Returns, not really the original Donkey Kong Country design I grew up with. There's no problems in that choice, it's just that the design itself is too hollow for me in this LEGO set, especially at $60, where it's a facade with open gaps at the top, especially noticeable. Again, lots of open space in the roof, and the interior section holding it up looks even worse. The inside has like a Donkey Kong tile in the middle, which will be a cool print, and the TV, which I appreciate. But yeah, kinda wish the build was more focused on a substantial house. It's so weird to me and kinda frustrating with this set that the $30 Mario's house set from the first wave in 2020 has a more complete and less gappy build than what's found with Donkey Kong's house here. Also, one thing I'm really tired about with the course building sets is the amount of random builds just connected by different two by whatever plates. Like recently, I built the Princess Peach Castle set and it's honestly really disappointing in ways this set is, where again, it's a facade of a recognizable Mario location, but it has these side builds that make the set so annoying to display and transport after you're building it, where they're just little parts connected by two by whatever plates. And then the focus being placed on the play aspect of the course building system instead of the main building makes it just a very small build of what you want to get. Regardless, the side builds include a tire which appeared even way back in the original Donkey Kong Country, another build with conga drums, you know, we represent Donkey Konga. Speaking of Mario's house, this lifts the play feature of that set with a net build to have Cranky Kong rest instead of Mario from that set. And then there's also this part right here, which is the way the Donkey Kong figure interacts with Lego Mario, where there's an action tile in the middle, and you could make Mario ride Donkey Kong, which doesn't happen in the game, so it's just like a creation for Lego Mario theme to fit in that electronic integration. And yeah, everything being forcefully tied to the course building system, which has run its course, no pun intended, in my enjoyment and play for me is tiring, but I've complained about it many times. Whatever. Donkey Kong and Cranky Kong are cool builds, both seemingly with some new types of feet pieces. Side by side, you can see the differences. And other builds in this wave will have Diddy, Dixie, and Funky Kong. But we just don't know which sets in particular. Anyways, am I being too hard on this set? Do you like this set and will you be buying it? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you later. Peace out. Bye.